besides being attracted to boys and having a knowledge of sex, she had an aggression. She had an aggressive attitude towards sex. Look at this kid. This poor kid, look at me. Don't look at me. Look at him. He's just a baby. He wasn't even old enough to go to war. He grew up at a time of sexual revolution. Who's telling you the truth? Who do you trust? The boys? Scared to death. Or her? After. After. After the contamination. The truth is, Sally Smith knows what to do better, perhaps, than old-fashioned adults like me. Because there's one big difference between the 1940s and the 1980s. What was considered perversion in the 1940s is not considered perversion at all today to most people, or at least some people. And since we have choices, you can do what some say is perversion, and others say, oh, that's beauty. Oh, that's glorious. That's euphoric. That's ecstatic. These great experts, they're going to bring in. I want to hear. I want to hear what they say when I ask them, have you ever had somebody come to you, if it's a man, his wife wants to have unusual sex, the other spouse considers it perversion. Well, do you tell them it is perversion? Or do you tell them, Doc, doctor, Dr. Brilliance, Dr. Brilliant psychiatrist, do you tell them, you do what you find is good for you. You do what you like. And if you have to bend a little to make me happy, bend. Try it. But forget how you were raised. Isn't this life? It right? doesn't fit everybody. It's like a size 40 suit. doesn't fit every man. Like a size 5 petite dress. doesn't fit every woman, but that's what life is. Accommodations, differences, understandings. Sally Smith understands in plain English the distinctive sexual nature of sexual conduct. Did she understand that she had the right to refuse to engage in sex? We say she absolutely did. When you get by, did she have the right to refuse? The next question is, did she have the ability, did she have the ability to use the simple word, no, or I refuse, or I don't want to? Because if she had the right to refuse, and if she had the ability that she is not, not mentally defective, no matter what they say. Uh, sex is like uh, uh, when uh, two people uh, get together and they do and mama, 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 well, They do when they marry and um, they passionate love. You mind if I stand up? Oh, uh, uh, um, whatever you would like to do is fine. Hmm. Do you mind if I get closer? Whatever you would like to do. Before, the nice judge asked you about the difference between right and wrong. Did the prosecutor tell you that answer? No, I did it on my own. She didn't tell you what to say? She said a couple of times I should tell the truth. And if you come in this courtroom, you don't tell the truth, you only get in a little bit of trouble, right? No, you get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Sally, let me tell you, I'm a little nervous about asking questions. Uh, well, um, that's all right, go right ahead. The prosecutor, she's your friend, right? Yeah. And the one thing that your friend wants to know about is the cellar at the Scherzer house, right? What? So, basement. Oh. See why I'm nervous? Because I'm not your friend, am I? You're not? I ask you Pretty please, Sally? Can you be my friend for a couple hours? Oh, sure. Sally, I'm going to try to make this easy. Okay. I've done some homework. Well, you didn't have to go to all that trouble. <laughs> Now, for some people, it's a dirty thing to talk about sex. This? 
Well, for example, you wouldn't expect to go to a church and hear a minister or a preacher talking dirty about sex like you did this afternoon, would you? No. If I talk to you about sex, even though I'm an old something or other, you won't mind. I'm beginning to get the feeling I'm afraid that you like to be your own person. Don't be afraid! You don't like people lower you around, right? Right. And you don't like people to get on your back, do you? Uh-uh. Like, have you heard the expression, bust your chops? Like, pork chops? <laughs> no, never mind. We've been on your back, too, right? Uh, not really. Well, I'd love to hear that. Well, you're doing the best that you can. <laughs> Okay, you tell me who's this big guy right here? Kai. No, um, Kevin. You got to mix up because they're twins, right? Yeah. You don't want to hurt him, do you? No. You care about them, don't you? I care about them. Well, um, they don't give a hoot for me, but I yeah. care about them. You like them a little bit, don't you? Yeah. Maybe you love them. 